Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, the Chancellor of the Exchequer is in Washington uh, having meetings with the IMF and is a. Uh, which have been. routine meetings that have been long scheduled. Can I say, I know it's the first Wednesday back, we're all excitable, a little calm so I can hear the Minister. Come on, Minister. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Routine meetings that have been long scheduled and certainly not a cause for exuberance or overexcitement from the benches opposite. Uh, Mr Speaker, as we, as we know, uh, the world has faced surging energy prices since Putin's illegal invasion of Ukraine. We've seen high inflation, very high inflation across the Western world, and we've seen a cycle of increasing interest rates across Western economies as well, across many Western economies. But let me reassure the House that the fundamentals of the United Kingdom's economy remain resilient. Unemployment, yeah. unemployment at 3.5 per cent is the lowest it's been in my lifetime, and for the record I was born in 1976. Economic growth, economic growth last year, the calendar year 2021, was the highest of any G7 country, 7.5 per cent, and just yesterday the IMF forecast that economic growth, GDP growth, this current year in the UK would be at 3.6 per cent, once again for the second consecutive year, the highest of any G7 country. So our economy is in resilient uh, condition, but I know, but I know, I know that many families are worried about the challenges we face, and that is why, just a few weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, we introduced the energy price guarantee. Yeah, yeah. Families were genuinely fearful that they might face energy bills this winter of three, four, five, six, or even seven thousand pounds per year. But that energy price guarantee will ensure the average household yep. sees energy prices no higher than two and a half thousand pounds on average, not for six months, like the Labour plan, but for two years. Yeah. And we also introduced a growth plan to get our economy growing, to see wages sustainably rising, to see good jobs created, and to create a sustainable tax base to fund our public services. This government has a growth plan. The opposition has no plan. But Mr. Mr Speaker, we intend to do this in a way that is fiscally responsible, and that is why, and that is why, and that is why, on the 31st of October, in less than three weeks' time, the Chancellor of the Exchequer will set out the medium-term fiscal plan, explaining to the House exactly how he will do that, and how we will continue the UK's track record of having the highest growth in the G7, not just last year, but this year as well. Yeah. Rachel Reeves. Yeah.